CNA have this article today about a vicar general of a diocese in Germany who's leaving the priesthood. He's now writing a book, as you do when you have to explain why you've been unfaithful in your priesthood. But look, let's just read through this story for a moment. Very interesting. Just want to make a comment after it. See, this story is doing the rounds on social media. A senior German priest leaves the Catholic Church. I'll just read through this. Uh, Andreas Sturum, the former vicar general of the German Diocese of Speyer. A senior German priest has announced he is no longer Catholic, citing the disappointment over lack of reforms in the church and admitting that he has broken his promise of celibacy. Andreas Sturm, the former vicar general of the Diocese of Speyer in southwestern Germany, made the announcement on May 13th, reported CNA Deutsch. Sturm, who is joining Germany's old Catholic community, said that he had lost hope and confidence over the years that the Roman Catholic Church can truly reform itself. At the same time, I experienced how much hope is placed in ongoing processes such as the Synodal Path, but I'm no longer in a position to uh, also proclaim and honestly and sincerely share the hope because I simply don't have it anymore. The former vicar general described the ordination of women to the priesthood as as well as the abolition of compulsory celibacy, dealing with queer people, co-determination of the laity, blessing ceremonies, ceremonies for homosexuals, as well as sexual morality in the church as the most important topics that he believed were not being addressed. Participants in the journal, German Synodal Way have voted in favour of draft texts calling for same-sex blessings and changes to the catechism on homosexuality as well as women priests. Admitting in an interview to have broken the promise of celibacy, Strum told the local newspaper Meinhammer Morgan that he had long doubted whether the Catholic Church was a good fit for him, even in seminary and as a pastor. But in the office of Vicar General, it was easier for me to ponder these doubts and think about quitting, said Sturm. How he got to be in the position of Vicar General is beyond me, a man that had doubts about his vocation anyway. Going on. Who led Spare Diocese for several months during the prolonged absence of the bishop for health reasons. In a number of interviews with German newspapers, Sturm said that he was launching a book about his experience because obviously now that he has no money for the church he has to get money from somewhere the title of the publication scheduled for release in june is i have to get out of the church with the subtitle because i want to remain a human being the vicar general speaks out according to press release from the publisher herder strum said for me there is only ever Roman Catholic Church and my life in and with it. In the meantime, I've been asking myself for some time whether I am also codependent, codependent on this church. This image with codependency came to my mind because people wrote to me over and over again, because you, of you, I'm not leaving the church, but I do want to. All Catholics belong to a movement originating primarily in Netherlands, Germany and Switzerland, consisting of Catholics who are excommunicated over their refusal to acknowledge papal authority in dogmatic matters following the Vatican Council. 1. The, in all Catholic communities, uh, women can be ordained, remarriage after divorce is possible and homosexual unions are blessed. Strum is not the only prominent German Catholic figure to gravitate to old Catholics. Another notable case is that of Alsem Bilgeri, the former prior of Bavarian Abbey of Andex. The ex-Benedictine monk made headlines in Germany on May 17th over claims that Pope Francis had dismissed him from the clerical state for reportedly conducting Catholic weddings and baptisms despite having left the church and joined the old Catholics in 2020. Speaking to German tabloid Bild, Bill Gurney accused the Archdiocese of Munich and Friesling of having snitched on him and said that the Pope had punitively dismissed him from the clergy for persisting in church schism. Frank Reversum Robe, a, f- a former Dominican friar, joined the Old Catholics several months ago. He previously taught Catholic theology in various uh, Catholic 
in various colleges and universities. Like Bilgeri, Erdverzumrub is openly homosexual, CNN, CNA Deutsch reported. Matthias Ring, who serves as Bishop of the Old Catholics in Germany, said in April that there had been a general uptick in interest among German Catholics, according to katholisch.de, a website funded and run by the German Bishops' Conference. There were an estimated 15,500 Old Catholics within the community's single German diocese in 2007. This synodal way, whenever I see priests like this coming out and praising the synodal way, which is going to resolve all of their issues that they have, because many people want a faith that fits their lifestyle. And so if this, if the Catholic Church is not preaching a faith that fits my lifestyle, whatever lifestyle it may be, then it's not preaching <laughs> the faith that they want to encounter. Sometimes we want to configure Christ to meet our own uh, needs in life uh, it's very it's it and you know we all have this temptation i think sometimes in our life you know uh, you see it oh look in another church they can do this and another church they have this um you know what is christ calling us to in the catholic church i do find it very sad that men that can go through seminary for so many years come out and after 15 20 years they do stuff like this you know, if you're going to live a life, live it. But don't go around turning things on. Oh, it's not me that's the problem here. No, no, no. I'm not to blame here. It's, it's the church. It's because the church hasn't reformed. That's the problem. No, me, I, I'm fine. Just because, you know, I didn't live up to the vows I took in my... That's not the problem here, guys. The problem is the church, right? I'm disillusioned with the church because it hasn't reformed. You know, whenever whenever I hear this word reformed, reforms, to go back to where it was formed, I wonder, well, when, if we're going to reform the church, when in the church were we blessing God knows what type of unions? Excuse me, I, I just don't remember that in the whole history of the Catholic Church. It didn't exist. It's never been there. So we're looking, we're looking, when we say the word reform, you know, St. Therese of Avila reformed the, the Carmelites. There's been reformations, reforms of the, the Franciscans going back to the origin, to the original spirit. So when people are talking about reforms, you have to, re, to reform to what? To reform. What, what we're looking at today is a deformation of the Catholic Church. A deformation to incorporate teachings that were never part of the deposit of the faith. And some people say, well, until these teachings are in the Catholic Church, I'm going to go off to some other group that has deformed itself and the, and the teachings of the church. And it's very sad. Um, I've seen it in Ireland. These groups, they don't stop there. It'll be next. It'll be euthanasia and it'll be abortion. It's always the same way. It's always the same way. Very sad. And it goes to show the bad formation that we have had in, in many seminaries over the last number of years. That vicar generals, that abbots of, of a Benedictine monastery, God, how, do, how do these people get into positions like this? Uh, a Dominican that's been teaching. These people that have been going around spreading their ideas, did they ever really believe in the faith in the first time? Did they ever really encounter Christ in the Eucharist? Because we are called to align our lives with the faith, not to make the faith align itself with our life, with our fallen state. When the young man came and asked Christ, what can I do to be perfect? Christ And, and Christ asked him to leave, to, to sell everything, go and sell everything and come follow him. Christ didn't turn to him. Well, actually, all of that wealth that you have, do you know what? You can just put it in a, in a cart and get a horse and cart and, or, or an ox and cart and, and come follow me and drag it all along with you. And bring it along with you. you. Don't and think about it for a few years before you decide to sell it. On. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Christ turned people away sad. He turned that man away sad. That man went away sad because he wasn't willing to take that step. You know, Christ asked us to change. And uh, I, it's sad that two thousand years of Catholic teaching were not able to delve into these mysteries and these beauties of our faith. Uh, just my opinion, anyway. Guys, we have to pray. These are tough times in the church, but we can't be 
despondent. We have to bring, we have to look at the next generation. We have to look at our children. How can we teach this beautiful faith to them? Because our faith is an encounter with Christ, the living Christ in the Eucharist, who asks us to change our lives. He doesn't ask us to stay where we are. The gospel is a message of transformation. We are different people once we encounter Christ in the Eucharist, in his word. We are different. We have to be different people. We have to be countercultural. You know, we don't support abortion. We don't support everything that the world has to offer. We support a Christ who came with a different message. God bless. Take care. Pray for the church.